Okay, let's just make this straightforward and easy. You have two things that you can use with Blackboard Collaborate. Um, some of you are just going to use this for office hours, and some of you are going to use it for lecturing. So the first thing you need is a way for the students to get to it. So all you have to do is in this upper left-hand corner, click the, well, don't click on it, put your mouse, hover your mouse over the plus, go to tool link, and then in here you will see Blackboard Collaborate Ultra that you click on, and you name it whatever you want, okay? I named it um, Office Hour. You'll see it right there, and you have to cl click Available to Users, okay? So that's just how to get a link here that your students will see so now they can come in and click office hour. Um, some of you might want to name it live lectures, you know, whatever, whatever you're going to use it for. And so then this opens and the easiest, like I said, let's make this straightforward and easy. Just click course room. Your students will come in here. They'll just click course room. When they click course room over here is join course room. Now, there's some other things over here that you can mess with, and I probably wouldn't mess with any of them. Um, it was mentioned about the guest link. You could copy if you wanted to send, you know, to all your sections at once. But, you know, again, I'm doing one for each one of my sections. So the student will also click Join Course Room. And these are probably things you need to tell your student. Um, I'm actually going to do a little scavenger hunt quiz to make sure the students can get in here first before I start, you know, getting crazy doing stuff. And then once the students are in here, they will also have um, the ability to talk through the microphone. If they have a camera, they could actually share video, okay? The two important things are in the upper left and the lower right. The upper left is very important if you want to record and probably even office hours because students probably won't be able to make all of those. I probably would record those. So you could just hit start recording. And so we're recording this. The And then of course, these are important if you want to show yourself, but you definitely need to share your audio so they can hear you. You know, ask them, can they hear you? And then this in the bottom right hand corner, when you click on this, this shows what you see, the little chat window. So if there was anybody in here, you could chat with them. You could do the down arrow with the little smiley things and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so this would be where the students would chat with you. So you need to make sure you open that um, in case they don't have a microphone. The next one just shows you who's in this room, which is just me all alone. And then the next one, the share content. Now, if you're like me and you would just use this for office hour, probably the only thing you're going to need is the whiteboard, okay? Now, some of you are, again, are gonna use this to um, do lecture uh, lectures in here, and then that, this is where you would share your PowerPoint slides. So in here, you know, you're just going to, all right, let's find X squared, DX, all that good stuff. Don't make fun of my handwriting there. Um, and then, you know, once you get finished with this, you know, pretty much this, I mean, again, make it easy. Don't make it more difficult than what it is. Just very simple to be able to get across the lecture. And then from here, you can go in and stop the recording. All right, so I have stopped the recording, and I'm just going to close this tab out. And if I come back to where it says office hour, and this loads eventually. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm on Google Fiber, so you'd think it'd be a little bit faster. Notice there's a little menu thing right here, and this is where you can click to see your recordings. Now, let me mention they are not going to show up immediately. I actually paused this video. You might have noticed the little pause in between. They're not going to show up automatically, okay? It, it doesn't take like an hour for them to show up, but sometimes, you know, it's three, four minutes by the time they show up. And that's pretty much it. You can tell the students, now you can view the recordings and they're good to go. All right, let's say you want to use this for lecture. And so remember, when you come in here, the first thing you probably should do is start recording. And then over here, this lower right, um, this is where it was mentioned in some of the training that you could, this button right here, share content, 
and you could share files in here um, and you know bring your PowerPoints in here and all that good stuff. I probably wouldn't do that. What I probably would do is I would share my screen because that way if I share my screen, notice a little Scotty there, if I share my screen, what that allows me to do is from here now, I could actually use, you know, any of the Blackboard tools and let's see what color yellow pile show up. And from here, I could write notes as well. You know, if you're right, if you have PowerPoint slides where you fill things in and all that kind of good stuff. And so that way you could just share your screen and have the PowerPoint within here as well. So that's again, pretty much it straightforward. Don't make this any harder, but feel free to email me if there's anything specific that I didn't show that you want to know how to do.